Welcome to Made on Maple Street. I'm Andrea, and I'm glad you're here. During a recent shopping trip to my favorite home decor stores, some adorable pieces of pastel Halloween decor caught my eye, and as a result, I was inspired to create a few pieces of my own. Stick around to see how these simple Dollar Tree DIYs came together. For the first DIY, I started with a square picture from Dollar Tree. Since I wasn't going to hang this picture, I used a screwdriver to remove the picture hanger from the back. I separated the backing from the frame and pulled off the unicorn, setting it aside for later. I pulled all the paper off the backing to create a smooth surface for painting. Next I gave the backing one good coat of black chalk paint. While that was drying, I gave the entire frame a coat of plaster chalk paint. Then I moved on to the ghosts. I picked up a package of wood ghosts at Michael's and painted them each a different color. For the first ghost, I used the color Sage Mint. I gave the second ghost a few coats of lilac ice paint. I used the color winter blue to paint the final ghost. Next I grabbed the unicorn I removed from the picture earlier and pulled the foam pieces off the back. I cut the foam pieces in half and used hot glue to attach one piece to the back of each ghost. Then it was time to assemble the picture. I reattached the backing to the frame using hot glue. I arranged the ghosts in the frame and secured them to the sign with hot glue. To finish this project, I used my Cricut machine to cut stars out of silver shimmer vinyl. I used my tweezers to help me apply the stars to the background in a scattered arrangement. I love the way this fun, whimsical project turned out. If you are a fan of easy, affordable DIY projects and seasonal decor, Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to see more of my content in the future. For this DIY, I grabbed a crate stand that I created in a previous video. I will link the video in the cards above if you want to learn how to create your own. To make a sign for the top, I grabbed a giant craft stick that I picked up from Walmart. I wanted the ends of the sign to be jagged, so I used my steel snips to cut notches in both ends of the craft stick. I gave the front, back, and sides of the craft stick two coats of warm beige paint. Next, I grabbed a wooden bat from this pack of Dollar Tree stickers. I used a fine tip black paint marker to paint the front and sides of the bat and hot glued the bat to the left side of the sign. I wanted to add a little sparkle to the sign, so I put a thin layer of tacky glue all over the bat. I sprinkled chunky black glitter all over the bat and tapped the sign on the table to remove the excess glitter. For the text on the sign, I used my Cricut machine to cut the words trick or treat out of matte black vinyl and applied the text to the craft stick. To create a small sign for the front of the crate, I removed the clothespin from the back of a Dollar Tree chalkboard tag and applied the text, which is welcome, that I cut out of white vinyl. Next, 
Next, I grabbed some button magnets from Dollar Tree and placed one magnet on each of the existing magnets on the crate. I used hot glue to attach the Witch's Welcome sign to the bottom magnet. Then I put hot glue on the top magnets and stuck the Trick or Treat sign onto those magnets. I wanted to add a few embellishments to the crate, so I took a jack-o'-lantern out of this pack I picked up at Michael's. Since I was going with a pastel theme, I gave the jack-o'-lantern a makeover with a light pink paint marker. To create a banner for the front of the crate, I grabbed a skull necklace that I picked up at Big Lots. I wrapped the necklace around the front of the crate and used the clothespins on the back to secure the necklace in place. For the final embellishment, I took an unfinished wooden peg doll from this pack I recently picked up in the holiday section at Lowe's. I gave the entire peg doll a quick coat of plaster chalk paint and off camera I glued a small cube to the bottom of the doll to add a bit more height. Then I grabbed an old shirt from the donation pile and cut a circle out of the fabric. I draped the fabric over the peg to make a ghost. To make eyes for the ghost, I cut two small ovals out of black felt from Dollar Tree and used hot glue to attach them to the front of the ghost. I am so happy with the way this adorable stand turned out. Are you on Instagram? I'd love to connect with you there. Come find me at Made on Maple Street. For this super simple project, I started with a styrofoam skull from Dollar Tree. I gave the skull several coats of natural buff acrylic paint. Next, I grabbed some tacky glue and made a puddle of glue in the eyes and nose. I spread the glue around with my finger to make sure the surfaces were covered. To add a bit of sparkle, I grabbed some silver chunky glitter and sprinkled it on the skull's eyes and nose. Then I applied glue to the teeth and spread it around to cover the entire mouth. To finish this quick project, I sprinkled more glitter on the teeth and shook the skull to remove the excess glitter. I love that this skull adds a pop of fun to my Halloween display. This final DIY was inspired by a sign I saw at Michael's. For my version, I started with a circular sign from Dollar Tree. I used my heat tool to heat up the sticker on the back, making it easier to remove. Then I used a tiny screwdriver to remove the screws that were used to attach the metal word to the front of the sign. Next, I removed the paper from the front of the sign. After peeling off as much of the paper as I could, I placed baby wipes on the sign and pressed down on the wipes to saturate the remaining paper. I used my paint scraper to remove the excess residue. Once all of the paper was removed, I put painter's tape on the circular part of the sign and painted the base with black chalk paint. When the base was dry, I moved on to the circular part of the sign. I gave the front, sides, and back of the sign several coats of conch shell paint. I used natural buff paint to add some dimension to the circle.
Next, I grabbed a pack of unfinished wood letters from Michael's. I found the letters I needed to spell the word magic and used a fine tip black paint marker to paint the fronts of the letters. Once the letters were dry, I used a wooden sign from Dollar Tree to help me with the alignment of the letters. I put the letters on the circular sign and moved them around until I was happy with the arrangement. Then I used my precision tip craft glue to place a thin bead of glue on the back of the letters and stuck them down onto the sign. I used my Cricut machine to cut the words made of out of black vinyl and place them on the sign above the word magic. To add a little sparkle to the sign, I used more of the stars I cut out of silver shimmer vinyl and placed a few of them around the text. I think this piece turned out so cute. That wraps up today's video. I hope you found some inspiration to create a few of your own DIY projects. Which project from the video was your favorite? Be sure to let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Thank you.